Now, as I mentioned, because we haven't uh, set any root password, we can just use sudo mysql to log into our mysql server. But if you want to set the new password, then you just need to get into your mysql client. So if you see mysql and then this angle bracket, you are into your mysql client. And then to change the root password, you give this command, which is alter user. And then the username is root at the rate localhost because our server is running on the localhost identified with mysql hyphen native hyphen password by and then you need to give the new password right so in my case i'm going to give the new password as root for example right in your case you might want to uh, give some complex or strong password here so once you are done i'm going to give this uh, command in the description of this video also so you can directly uh, copy this command and paste it into your terminal to set the root password so let me just uh, paste this command and then press enter and it says query ok zero rows affected and once we are done we can give the exit command to exit out of this mysql client and you can see it says bye and now we are into the normal ubuntu terminal so once that's done let me close this terminal and reopen this terminal so Control alt t is going to open the new terminal and let's say i'm going to give this command once again which is sudo space mysql and then press enter and then i'm going to give my ubuntu's password which i use to log into my ubuntu operating system and now this time it says access denied because we have set the root password and the root password was root this time so, so now if we normally give this sudo mysql command it's not going to let us into our mysql client we need to give the root password also. So for that, you can write this command, which is sudo mysql and then space hyphen u and provide the username, which is root for us and space hyphen p, which will ask us to provide our root password, which is root in my case, you might have set the different root password, right? So we have set the root password. So give this command and then press enter. And I'm going to provide the root password. So I'm going to just type root here and then press enter. And this time it will allow us to get into our MySQL shell. And then you can now uh, use this MySQL shell to interact with your MySQL show server. So now to test uh, your MySQL uh, shell, you can give this command, which is show databases and then give the semicolon here and then press enter it's going to give you uh, all the default databases which comes with your mysql server so this information schema mysql performance schema and sys are the default databases so we haven't created those databases right now uh, if you want to uh, connect to a particular database you need to give the use command so just write use and let's say i want to connect to this default database which is information schema then i give the name of this uh, database and then give semicolon and then press enter and you can see it says database changed so now we are using this default database right then uh, we can also show the tables inside the database so i'm going to just write show tables and then press enter and it's going to show all the tables inside this default database so you can see there are so many tables in this default database so i'm going to just write exit and then press enter and we are out of of our mysql client let me clear the terminal and once again i'm going to give this command and give my root password and let's create a database this time right so to create a database give this command which is create database and the name of your database so my database name is let's say my new db and then press enter and that means this database is created and now you can give this command which is show databases and you will see the name of your database which is my new db now let's create a table inside this database so for this you can give this command which is create table i'm going to create the user table and then and then in that table i'm going to have four columns id name email and uh 
created at id will be auto incrementing in primary key and others are where care and created at is a timestamp and it says no database selected so in which database do i want to create uh, this table so for that i want to use use my new db name here to switch to the new uh, database right so my new db and then you need to give this command which is create table users and and all of those columns and then press enter and then it says uh query okay zero uh, rows affected and then when i say show tables here and then press enter our user table is created we can see here right so our mysql server setup is complete with the mysql client